So what I really like in this story is that the Western genre in generally is like typical um, associated to patriarchy in a certain way because the female characters are the ones that are the damsel in distress. But in this show, it's not like that. So what's the reason why you joined the project and you wanted to portray those characters? For me, it's, it's one of the reasons why I accept to do this show because uh, it, Western has codified the virility in the Western world for years and to have the occasion to to have this genre to pay a homage to the beautiful genre but to establish in it both the crisis of the virility and the strength and the complexity of the of the female character with such an actor was uh, for me was uh, great i would say knowing francesca pretty well now um, that it would be impossible for neither one of us to do something that is following the old, yeah. <laughs> the old ways of the old stereotype. <laughs> I think when we first met, we have like you know a rebel would recognize a rebel, and exactly. like you know exactly. both been kind of fighting our way through an industry that has quite hard stereotypes, and you know the the, the, the road for a woman to exist has been quite narrow, and you've been fighting your way, yeah. and I've been fighting my way, and then when we met, it's like, okay, hmm, we don't need to fight each other, we can actually fight them now, and that, you know, and also with Madalena and Leo, who are incredible, and who, who whom we work really close with, and, you know, we kept building Elizabeth as we were shooting, and you know, I had a dream, and I told you, you know, like this is incredible. You're like, you should, we should have it in. And Madalena exactly. and Leo yes. wrote my dream into a scene, and it's in the show. And that speaks for how this process was. It was so playful, yes, so collaborative, so fun and brave. And you have this ability and great love for actors to just make them feel safe and that everything is possible, even though you are on a schedule and producers are standing over your shoulder. It's like no. This is my room. This is my actors. This is an, it was an endless search. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there were no day, no nights. No. We, we shared message at four o'clock in the night about the scene <laughs> of the, the, the yeah. day after. Yeah. Because we, we, we really care about this place. We are trying to take larger and larger in this world and in this cinema. And uh, uh, a rebel recognizes a rebel. Um, in all different areas where there is still a lack of representation nowadays and what I really loved about the because it's it's not only about having strong female characters because that's also a bit limiting and we want to have layered characters for men for women for everyone so it's an interesting story and then you can use it and make it a good project mm -hmm. and but what I really loved about this version of Django is that the female roles are not the ones that need to be rescued by men, but they mm -hmm. kind of take their own, you know, their own future into their hand and they fight for their rights and they immediately, like, they, they yeah, they, they're not depending on the help by mm -hmm. a cowboy coming on the horse and rescuing. That is very existential and that it's, you know, he's dealing with guilt, he's dealing with... Uh, Laws. He's dealing with uh, desire for reparation, for restoration. Uh, those, those are, those are things that I see around me in the world mm -hmm. all the time. If you, if you look around, that you see people living like that.